Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's doing well. In today's video, we're going to be removing some side moldings on this 19 STI. As you can see here, these things are just double sided tape. So we're going to heat them up a little bit with the heat gun, making sure not to get the paint surrounding it not too hot. It's not really a big deal if we mess up the side molding, uh, but you got to still want to be extra careful not to generate too much heat onto the panel. Then after we got that molding warmed up a little bit, we'll just grab our fishing line. If you have thinner fishing line like I do, I just kind of overlap lap it, making it a little bit thicker and just kind of work it behind the molding and go back and forth, kind of sewing, sewing that adhesive behind the molding. If you have any problems with the fishing line snapping like mine just did, no problem. Just grab a new piece and just get back to where you finished. And then the molding should remove fairly easily here. We'll just pull this one off. Just be careful, pull it off nice and slow. The newer vehicles, the easier they are to pull off generally. And then as we get back to the rear molding, we'll use the exact same process using the heat gun or your wife's hair dryer. It doesn't really matter. And we're using fishing string. It's the thinner stuff. You could also use something like dental floss, whatever works best for you. I got this cheap fishing string and it keeps busting oh. on me. So I just got to kind of double it up and it work doesn't work too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. And then just pull it off carefully. And then after that, just give everything a quick wipe down to kind of remove any kind of dust and dirt. Next, it's time to get out the 3M eraser wheel. If you don't have one of these and you detail and work on vehicles relatively often, I would highly recommend one of these. They last a really long time. Typically, I go through one probably every six months for but for the do-it-yourself, or you probably it would probably last years. Works really good for debadging, removing any, any kind of adhesives on the paint, stuff like that. Uh, but I do recommend going at a slow speed. You don't want to go too fast with your power drill, just at a slow speed. And as that rubber on the wheel kind of warms up, it'll make it easier to remove any kind of adhesives. After we're done getting off all the adhesive, I like to just kind of blow everything off. It gets kind of dusty. You could also just wipe it with a towel. That would be fine. And then next, I'm going to use lacquer thinner. Use at your own risk. Again, I'll say use at your own risk. If you never use lacquer thinner on a base clear paint, I wouldn't probably recommend it. Uh, the key is, though, just to light wipes. Don't over wipe uh, and make sure that lacquer thinner is drying. You want it to flash off pretty quick and not stay wet and not drip onto the panel. Just a little bit of thinner to wipe it all down to kind of remove any kind of sticky adhesive. If you're unsure, uh, I would probably recommend using like a paint safe adhesive remover. Don't use lacquer thinner. Again, I'll say don't use lacquer thinner if you're uncomfortable. I don't want you guys to accidentally mess up your paint. Now that I have the panel all clean and the adhesive is removed, there's still going to be a little bit of an outline there. You'll notice it more on certain color paints, uh, but there still is an outline. So we're just going to machine compound it lightly. Nothing aggressive here, just using the Rupes LHR 75E along with the Menzerna 2400 compound and then the Rupes yellow pad. Like I said, nothing real ag aggressive. You could even use like a Porter Cable DA uh, or just a simple DA that you that you have laying around or uh, from wherever. You don't have to use any kind of high-end buffer for a simple job like this. If you really wanted to, you could probably even do it by hand, uh, but I probably probably wouldn't recommend that. Then once you have it all compounded out, I would recommend covering it up with whatever kind of paint protection you want. Uh, this one I could definitely tell when I washed it, as you can see here in a second, you can see where I buffed and where the paint protection still is. So I wanna make sure after I wash it here to apply paint protection, I'll probably just apply it to the whole door. That way it's nice and even. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to comment below. I'll make sure to put that 3M eraser wheel in the link in the description. That's pretty much the only tool that we used uh, that not everyone has. Uh, but anyway, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you later.